the hot spot of the drought is. That's in central California. And the epicenter of that is a little town called Mendota, which is a farm community. Uh, it's, it's south of Fresno. What they're doing is they want to raise all the, the water rates. Well, how can you raise water rates on zero allocation of water? What difference does it make? But they are getting some water. Okay, now because of water markets, uh, Northern California, uh, the Yuba County Water Authority is ar arranging to sell water from Lake Shasta. That Lake Shasta is way up in Northern California uh, to some farmers down in Mendota, and they've sold they did ten trades already this year for sixty thousand acre feet of water. It sounds like a lot. Of water, but it's not because usually the Dota uh, Water Agency, Water Authority, gets something around 2.2 million acre feet of water. Okay, but they'll take any water they can get this year. And uh, but they've done 10 trades for 60,000, and they're about to do another 175,000 acre foot water transfer. They were sued. Uh, the Yuba County Water Agency was, and uh, the um, and Dota County Water Agency, the two ends of the, of the transaction, were sued by a group of sports fishermen and uh, groundwater owners in up uh, near Shasta Lake. And so uh, they said, we don't want you sending water down to those farmers that we have up here. And uh, Yuba, the Yuba County Water Authority up in Northern California said, well, we have plenty of groundwater, and so we have a surplus of groundwater. So we could send water from our reservoir, Lake Shasta, down to the farmers, and you guys can switch over to groundwater where we have a surplus. But that didn't assuage the people in Northern California, so they sued. But Judge, uh, I think his name is Lawrence O'Neill, in the federal uh, court, uh, denied their uh, attempt to, to sue to block this water transfer. It would have meant uh, kind of killing water markets, and I wrote an article on this on Cal Watchdog for those who uh, are listening in. You could look it up on Cal Watchdog. But it, it uh, I was concerned that uh, the only way the farmers in the worst hit areas are getting any water is through water markets, and this lawsuit might have stopped it. But fortunately, the judge had good sense, and uh, it was interesting how the judge ruled, though, it was sort of humorous because. Uh, what happened is that the litigants, the uh, groundwater owners and, and sports fishermen in uh, Northern California, Lake Shasta area, they said, well, we're suing because th this water transfer has to go through the Sacramento Delta to get to the farmers, and when it does, it's going to uh, impact and kill Delta smelt fish. You know, people maybe have heard of the Delta smelt. It's a little minnow of a fish, okay, about that long, okay? Yeah. It's like sardine, okay? And there's, uh, according to the, uh, the, uh, the people who filed the lawsuit, there's maybe only 250 of them left in the Delta. So we want to shut down a wa you know, water for millions of people that, uh, you know, and, and that uh, gets us all put food on all of our table for 250 fish is was their complaint. Well, the judge looked at the uh, two biologists who work for the, the federal government who said, hey, uh, the, Del the Delta smelt aren't in the Delta this summer. They're gone. <laughs> they went bye-bye. Okay. So the judge said, well, how could we have a lawsuit to protect the Delta smelt if the Delta smelt aren't there. <laughs> so it was somewhat humorous. Uh, so the judge dismissed it. So it looks like uh, at least the people in Mendota are going to get another 175,000 acre feet of water, uh, which is a good deal. And it shows that water markets can work to help in a drought.